Hello and welcome to this um, Linux tutorial. Um, in the previous tutorial we downloaded and installed CentOS. Um, yeah, we, so we installed a, a virtual version of a CentOS 6.3 desktop environment um, and basically we just configured um, with DHCP an IP address. And I also then run um, and we also then did um, we added David, uh, the, this user, um, to the sudo um, sudo file. Okay, so then, then it can run um, sudo commands. Um, I've also run the um, yum update, as it was a huge amount of updates which need to be done. So it was no, no point um, doing this uh, on a video. Okay, so what we're going to do um, is basically we're going to move into um, installing and configuring um, our Apache server or, the a or HTTPD um, server so as we can run a website. Okay, but first of all, there's a few um, pieces of housekeeping that we need to do in order to make this um, this kind of work. So uh, we need to set a static IP address first of all for our, our server, um, and then what I advisably do is um, set um, a DNS um, so we're going to install bind so we can just set up DNS for it as well and also yeah configure the the websites um, that we're going to put on it okay so let's get started in this video is just going to be configuring the static IP address and making sure that's all going to work and in the next video we'll move on to uh, the additional steps so without further ado um, let's continue shall we all right so what do we need to do we could use the network manager but we're not going to um, we're going to use um, the terminal all the time okay so let's just uh, get rid of this and let's just pop over to being um, root as it's far easier because we need to do all of these actions um, with the root okay so we're going to quickly um, install vim because I'm not a big oh yeah David I'm not a big fan of okay it's already installed that's cool um, okay so we need to say vim etc sysconfig network scripts and then to your um, primary ethernet uh, or your network interface card okay so in the previous um, tutorial what we did is we set this uh, boot proto to DHCP but well, we need to change this um, to none okay because we don't want any um, pro um, protocol at all we just want to set an IP address ourselves we've already got on boot is equal to yes so just underneath here what we're going to do is we're going to say IP address and at the moment we've got 10.10.30 um, which is fine okay we can keep that and then we also want then net mask is equal to um, 255 255 and then uh, the gateway we're then going to have as um, the main um, gateway that I've got set up here which is whatever your gateway would be predominantly it's normally the um, it's normally dot one so if you've got one nine two one six eight two dot one um, on this one I've got ten dot ten dot ten dot one uh, and so on okay so now what we're going to do also is we're going to say is we're going to say domain and on this I'm just going to say home dot local okay and then the DNS uh, one is going to be in the beginning equal to 10.10.10.1. Okay, um, there's not really much else that we need to do. This is just going to say that um, it's going to have its own IP address, um, and that's about it. We're going to change the DNS a little bit later to then uh, route back to itself. But first of all, so we can download the the, um, the different programs or the different packages, um, we need internet. So can just press shift um, sorry escape and then colon and then WQ to get out of that and then we're just going to put the um, the the uh, network card down first of all or the interface down and then back up again just to make sure it's all working okay it doesn't come up doesn't come up with determining IP address um, that's because we've set a static IP address and as we can see it's all basically exactly the same and if we then um, ping the gateway first of all to make sure we've got connectivity uh, everything is fine and then if we ping um, well, what's one to choose let's choose then Yahoo today okay and we've got uh, internet connectivity as well which is good okay so now the next thing um, that we need to do potentially 
is uh, well, that's for for configuring an IP address. That um, would be fine. Although um, you might need to um, have a check what your uh, etcresolve.conf file says. Now, um, if you haven't, if you didn't get any internet, if we just uh, remove these two lines at the moment, okay, that was because when we did uh, if down if up for et0, that then rewrote this wrote to this file. So if we um, now say ping. Google, we see that we don't get any um, any connectivity because there's nothing with inside of the um, uh, the the etcresolve.conf file. But if we then put uh, the network card down again and the network card back up, the network card back up again, it will rewrite to this file once again for us with that DNS one entry that we put in there. So it will just cut out. Uh, the etc dot resolve and you can see that it's written in in there again okay now you can resolve this um, fairly simply um, by coming back to our uh, our card and we've got um, peers dns okay peers dns equals no and i believe if we just um, echo dev null whoops into this here and then cut that out again okay so there should be uh, nothing in it apart from what stupid stuff I've just put in there which we didn't want okay let's just take that out okay now we we'll say ping okay that's unknown host and let's put our ether card back down again and back up again and now let's cut the etc resolve dot out again okay so it's still gone in there actually I believe if we do put the DNS in there then it will place it in there but I believe that we can stop this we can stop it from writing. I'm just going to have a quick check. I think it's Peers DNS that did it. Okay, it was my mistake. It was Peer DNS. So set to no. Now, if it's with, um, if you're using DHCP, um, then by default it's going to write to the etcresolve.conf file. Now, if you supply the DNS, this is what's going to be written to there. Um, but we need to explicitly turn it off so it doesn't write to it. Okay, so let's just uh, save this, and then let's um, let's remove um, what's in this file once again. Okay, and save this, and then say if down and if up. Okay, and as you can see now, it's empty now although this is a good and bad thing uh, I find it's a good thing because I don't want it being um, I don't want it being uh, modified at all because I want to know that I'm going to modify it myself okay um, the search home.local um, that's something which we're going to talk about a little bit later okay but for the time being we know that the server the name server which we're going to collect or which we're going to resolve any DNS through is going to be our gateway in, in the beginning until we've actually installed our own DNS server so let's just quit out here let's just clear the screen by pressing control M L and let's ping uh, Google okay and yes we have it so let's ping um, the gateway everything's all fine and let's just see our host name is then David desktop now it's David desktop at the moment because of um, the hosts file which yeah that's weird okay that's that's because of the um, sysconfig network Okay, that's because of the host name uh, here, which is fine. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it for um, having a um, a static IP address. We know that every single time um, 
this one server um, boots it's going to have a static IP address and we don't need to worry about it so if any one point your server goes down you know that it's going to reboot with the same IP address the network's going to be um, up all the time and then the, the web server is going to be continuously running and your website's only going to be down for um, f you know maybe a minute 30 seconds however long it will take for the the website the web server to reboot again <coughs> okay that's it in the next tutorial um, we're then going to um, advance on to then um, installing DNS okay getting DNS working um, and then we can move on um, from there okay so look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial thank you bye bye